Tier 2 Junior Hockey in the US is made out of the NAHL and the USPHL NCDC division. The NAHL is the only official Tier 2 Junior Hockey League, whereas the USPHL NCDC is independent as it was rejected by USA Hockey. Both of the leagues are great feeder leagues to the NCAA Division 1 and Division 3, and there's many scouts at every game. Some teams also draw in a decent attendance average, depending on their region. All of the expenses beside the billet family are paid by the teams, and there's a draft taking place every year, where the teams can draft the best junior prospects for their rosters. Our next interview is with Michele Marchetti. Michele is an Italian player that went over to North America to play in the NAHL when he was 18. It's going to be very interesting to listen to his experience as he also had to manage the lifestyle change from Europe to North America. Hi Michele, thanks for being here with us today. Hi Martin, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so our first question is going to be, uh, talk to us about your youth hockey career and how you went over to the North American Hockey League. Who helped you to get there and so on? Okay, uh, I, I, I am from uh, Kanadzei, here is a village in Fasa Valley, here in the Dolomites. And uh, we have a team here with all the, ju the juniors and the senior team. And uh, I grew up here doing the juniors from 6 year old to 16, 18 year, year old. I did all the juniors here. And then one year, I I had a friend of our old coach that was here in the in Fasa back in the 90s or in the 80s, and he had some connections over there in America. So I went over there in the summer in 2012 with a friend of mine to California just to get to know the guy and see what he could do for me, and uh, he 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 arranged me a. Uh, a tryout with a U USHL team for the year after. So in 2013, I went over there, I did the tryout, and I made the team with the Des Moines Buccaneers in the USHL. And then I came back home and I trained all summer and I went back there in August and I did all the training camp. And that's pretty much how I got over there. So once you arrived to North America, uh, did the team uh, help you out in organizing an apartment, school and so on? Or did you even go to school? No, I, I, I didn't go to school there because uh, I graduated here from high school and, and then I left pretty much that summer. So my degree from high school was already done. So I was, I was trying to get into college by playing in those leagues, you know, to get a to commit to some college but unfortunately I couldn't make it so that was my adventure I was supposed to go back the second year but then I the coach changed and it was some uh, it was kind of me a messed up situation so I could I couldn't stay there the second year to try to get the commitment that I wanted you like in those ju junior leagues there are not very like many players that go to school still maybe there are a couple of players very young players talents that they still go to high school but most of the players are when when they play in those leagues are currently not going to school because as i said before they are trying to get you know to commit to some college and go to school after you know so you are pretty much a pro but you're not a pro so you just do hockey and you're waiting to and end up uh, somewhere good to go to school. I had a goalie that was very young that was still going to school, but uh, he, he could manage the school and hockey pretty good. So he didn't have to miss any practices or, or miss games because the school let him go if he had if he had to go to hockey so and and he was recovering after you know with private lessons and stuff like that so how is your day-to-day -day lifestyle in the nhl what about practices games and so on no uh, like for me personally it, it wasn't too hard to get used to the life over there because 
the biggest the biggest change for me was the food because uh, it's hard to eat very healthy there you know even if you go to the groceries they don't have maybe the quality that we have here in Italy but after a month or two you get used to that too and it's no problem for the language uh, I studied English pretty much my whole from the primary school to the high school so yeah I had a good base of the language uh, and I picked it up pretty fast so I wasn't a big deal like in the team I stayed the most that was in the NAHL in the Brookings Blazer in South Dakota was kind of in the middle of nowhere so all the bus trips were pretty far like from seven to ten hours and mo and most of them we were going the day before take a hotel and play and leave right after the game but um, and about the my my day was pretty much we had practice in the morning around 10 30 and and most of the days we were going to the gym before practice and then in the afternoon with the team we were going to the college gym there was a college there in the brookings so we were going there to the gym pretty much every day but we had ice in the morning and the gym pretty much or before practice or in the afternoon. So it was you was you were busy pretty much all day, so it was good. Uh, and what do you think was the biggest difference uh, culture-wise and lifestyle-wise from Europe to North America? Yeah, yeah, uh, the, the, the biggest challenge to get used to that type of play is the ice surface that it's smaller. So everything happens faster and you have less time to think less time to make a play and it's a lot more physical than it is here here is more in europe with the european size it's more skill maybe and all over there you have to be even more skilled but even ready you know to get hit and make hits because the, the space it's less so you gotta do everything faster but it took me like one and a half month to get used to that, and then after that, I was I was fine. It was a big it wasn't a big deal to get used to that. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, could you compare the hockey in the North American Hockey League to the Ebel or Italian league where you also played as a pro afterwards? I think uh, I think the biggest difference from the junior leagues over there in, in USA and the the professional leagues here in Europe it's uh, it's the mentality of the players that are playing in the team because when you are in a junior team you know it's it's just a bunch of kids that play hockey they wanna they just want to play there because they want to go somewhere from there you know either commit to a college or go to the CHL maybe those leagues that you have more visibility when you play there so i think it's it's one stationary thing the junior league there because you know you're not gonna play there a lot of time just a couple of years and then you're going somewhere else so everyone plays 110 percent to show the people that they can make the next step instead in europe i think for example the able or the alps it's more like it's more in the team that there are people like from 18 to 35 so you play with men and it's a little bit it's a little bit different from that point of view but for the hockey i would say the big difference it's always the uh, the eye surface because being smaller it's a big change uh, for a hockey player that you have to adjust your style style of play so you tried yourself to go over and play Junior A in North America. Uh, do you think that this league prepared you well for the pro leagues afterwards? Or do you think it would have been better to stay at home and try to reach the pros in those years and maybe get some pro experience right away? I think it, it, it depends where you play in Europe and what you want to do like from 16 to 20, 23, because a lot of pretty much like the 90% of the kids 
that play in the junior leagues all over there are trying to go to a college to to get a, a degree with a college and at the same time playing there because the NCAA college it's very very good at and it's getting better year by year so I would say if if I would go back uh, if I would go back to being 16 I would still try to go over there in US and play in the junior leagues and try to commit to a college that was my that was my that was my like objective that's what I wanted to do but it, for example if you are a guy from Swiss it's a little bit different you know or a guy from Germany because the leagues there are very very serious and very good and you can live good up out of that and if you're maybe from there you can try to go pro right away it depends always what you want to do if you want to get a school degree or if you just want to get pro right away so you also spent some time in the ushl before moving down to the north american hockey league uh, is there a big difference between those two leagues and uh, maybe also compared to the u20 italian national team level yeah uh, uh, in the in the ushl it's a very good league for junior because a lot of uh, a lot of players get traded uh, for the NHL from there, so it's a very ser serious league. And uh, every team there has uh, as so as a, a bunch of families called billet families that host the players of the team, the players that don't live in the same city as the team is they go to the family and they and the team provides them everything and, then, and they don't have to pay for anything in the family when i went down to the nahl it was a, a little bit different because you had to pay something for the billet family but pretty much what was the same except you had to pay something but like nothing it was like Two hundred dollars a month, so it was just a, just a, just a insignificant amount of money for what they gave you know, because they cook, they they clean your clothes and everything. Yeah, absolutely. Like for example, comparing uh, comparing here, like the junior league here until the U18, you know, it, it was a good level. I'm not saying that. But uh, like the USHL, it's it's a league that really that really develop players in every aspect of the game on the ice and off the ice to be the best hockey player you want to be. So, like for example, in the team I was in the Des Moines Buccaneers, I don't remember any bad hockey player. Everyone was very good. And everyone was trying to get better every day to make the next step. Here in Italy, it's a little bit different because you know it's not as as followed as as in the USA, of course. And you and you are kinda on on your own on that to get better, and you don't know, try to make the next step. But in those leagues, the team and every and everybody like wants you to get better to get the team better and get you ready for the next step about the national team i think the level was very very good because was the best like the best players of each nation playing each other in a tournament that was that was meant something for every player and also you if you in your club play good the national team you try to play even better and as you remember, we won the U20 championship in uh, in, uh, in in Scotland. So that was one of my biggest uh, biggest moments in my hockey career so far. So that was it from our part, Michele. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you to you, Martin.